In this demo, we'll deploy an Azure VMware solution private cloud using the Landing Zone Accelerator template through the Azure portal. We'll log into the vSphere client to validate our SDC components were deployed successfully, and we'll configure Express Route Global Reach to establish connectivity between our on-premises data center and our AVS private cloud. At this point, we've already reviewed the enterprise scale landing zone design guidelines, confirmed the IP address space we're going to use, registered the Microsoft at AVS resource provider, and requested host quota. See the links in the description below if you want to review those steps. So we start here at the enterprise scale for AVS uh, GitHub repository. And we've already navigated to the landing zone greenfield page, and we'll have that link in the description below as well. To get started, we'll just click deploy to Azure. And this will gather some data for us. Uh, we're in the right subscription, but we do want to deploy everything in West US. So we'll make that change. And it will ask us for a deployment prefix. All the resource groups and objects that get deployed as part of the script will have this unique identifier at the front of them. We'll, we'll take the example and we'll just use AVS for that. Click next for private cloud. We're going to choose that, yes, we will deploy the private cloud. We're going to provide the address space, 192.168.92.0 slash 22. Our host SKU, these are the options available to us, but we're going to use the AV36 node, and we'll keep it at the default of three hosts. Click through to connectivity. We will connect AVS to an Azure VNet. Uh, we'll do a new virtual network. We'll give it the address space we decided on earlier, 192.168.96.0 slash 24. And we need to provide some IP space for the uh, for the gateway subnet. That's going to be 192.168.96.0 slash 27. We will deploy a jump box in Bastion so that we can remotely administer this environment. So hit yes there. It'll ask us for a subnet for Bastion. That'll be 192.168.96.64 slash 26. And a subnet for the jump box. That will be 192.168.96.32 slash 27. Okay. We'll provide an administrator username and password for that jump box. Do AVS admin and a password. Click to on premises connectivity. We will connect over Express Route. This will not configure global reach for us. We'll have to come back and do that at the end. Click through to monitoring, and we will opt into this monitoring. We'll configure a dashboard, enable metric alerts, enable service health alerts, and we'll have this sent to an email address. We'll use our internal AVS TMM group for that. Under add-ons, we'll keep these default. We'll deploy HCX. We will not deploy SRM just yet. Click Review and Create. Review these options and click Create. That will trigger the deployment. In the real world, this will take three or four hours to complete. We sped that up for the demo. But when it's done, we can click uh, to go to our subscription. Go into Resource Groups. And you can see the resource groups that were created as part of that script. Uh, AVS Jumpbox, AVS Network, AVS Operational, and AVS Private Cloud. Let's look at each of those. Inside the Jumpbox resource group, we have the Bastion service, the Bastion IP address, uh, and the Jumpbox. In the network resource group, we have the AVS connection, the virtual network gateway, the public IP, and the VNet. Under operational, we have a dashboard deployed. We'll click through that, go to dashboard. This gives us a dashboard of our, our most important metrics, CPU usage by cluster, data store disk usage by cluster, memory usage by cluster, and uh, private cloud to VNet utilization. And then private cloud has our SDC object. So I'll click that. And we can see status succeeded, so great. So that was deployed successfully. Click back to that resource group list. And we'll go to jump box and we'll access that jump box. Click the jump box object connect via Bastion. And we'll enter the username and password that we provided earlier. And click connect. First time we connect, we prompted about sharing the clipboard. We'll allow that. We'll go down and launch Edge. And we'll click back into the portal and create a new tab so we can get to our private cloud object. Back to subscription, resource groups, AVS Private Cloud, AVS SDDC, and we'll click this VMware Credentials panel. And here we can get the URL for the web client and the username and password that we use to log in. So I'll copy that URL first, paste that in, accept these warnings, launch the client, come back and get our username. get our password. And 
and login. Okay, we can see our vCenter, our data center object, our cluster, and our hosts. Great, so we can connect it through this jump box. We'll close this tab, close this one too. It's great that we connect through the jump box, but we really want to be able to administer this from our on-premises data center. So we're going to go back to the private cloud object, go to the connectivity panel, go to express route global reach, and we'll create a new connection. And we'll connect the express route supporting our AVS private cloud to the express route circuit we have supporting on-prem to Azure traffic. And we'll get the circuit ID and authorization key from our networking team. And I'll paste those values in now. Okay, click create. Wait for state to flip to connected. And we're good. We should have connectivity. So we'll go back to the VMware credentials panel. Copy our URL. Open a new tab. Paste that in. Launch the client. Provide our credentials. And we're in. Here's our vCenter, our data center, our cluster, and our nodes. There we go. We deployed an Azure VMware Solution Private Cloud with that landing zone accelerator template. We logged in the client to validate our SDC components, and we configured ExpressRoute Global Reach to establish connectivity between our on-premises data center and our AVS Private Cloud.